What's good YouTube, welcome back to Grim. Today we're covering an absolutely insane story about this dude that basically was running a scam with his girlfriend then turned wife, where they would have kids and just sell them for money, uh, like as a way to adopt them. So apparently they both thought that this was somehow easier than just having normal careers, where you know, they could make money in a legit way. But either way, you should stick around until the very end because it's just an absolutely wild ride, honestly. Without further ado, let's kick things off, shall we? Sandy is meeting her biological father, uh, Frankie, for the first time right here now. Uh, so let's have that meeting. Frankie, come on out. So we are starting things off real harsh, I will admit here, y'all. Sorry about that. Just throwing us into the deep end, but we got to start the story somewhere. So this woman was never actually able to meet her own biological father, and this is their first time meeting in 33 years, right here on the Dr. Phil stage in front of millions of people. Oh, I can't imagine how weird and surreal that must be for her, but I guess it's good to get out of the way. So they go in for a hug here, and while she is still sitting there crying, I mean, at least the guy was nice enough to do that. I mean, he did kind of do a little drumline solo on her back there while hugging, but maybe that's just his style, you know? The reasons I've not met her is because I can't afford it. I couldn't afford to fly out or drive out to where she was at, and I couldn't afford... Do you know where also. she was? Yes, sir. So I have you it. talked to her quite a bit? Yes, sir, I talked to her on the phone, off and on. So this guy's excuse as to why he's never actually met his daughter in 33 years, over three decades, you guys, uh, is that he can't afford it. <laughs> Look, man, life changes, and you go in and out of having money here and there, but you're telling me not once in the past 33 years, as an adult man, you could never once afford, like, $200 to set aside for gas and just go on a road trip to go meet your daughter? I mean, clearly he's just lying up here because it's not like he's just gonna say to her face, well, yeah, I kinda made you only to make money, so I had no reason to see you after that, which is obviously the truth here, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's better to lie to make yourself feel better or look better, and I guess that's his plan for this. All I know is that this dude is a piece of trash for doing that to his kid, and it's nice to see him exposed on TV like this, but trust me, it gets even worse down the road. But why would you keep getting her pregnant? Because when you're in love, love's blind. And, and love, love doesn't know what you're doing. What about the love for your child? I mean, that would be more blind to me than a man. Yo, that was straight up facts from this woman right here. Uh, she just hit him with the rebuttal of a lifetime, pretty much. <laughs> so to put things in perspective, she is one of many kids. I'm not sure the exact number. They might go into it a bit later, but basically it's a ton of kids that this guy and his wife had. And she is simply asking him, you know, if you're so out of the loop like you claim you are, uh, why would he keep having kids with this woman if they kept having to put them up for adoption right after they were born? Like, this moron can't think of anything to say other than, Well, you know what, darling? Love is blind. Like, dude, you gotta be prepared with some good lies while you're sitting in the green room, you know, thinking about what you're gonna say on stage. If you're gonna be on this show just coming up on stage and spouting off these fake deep intellectual sayings, thinking people are just gonna be like, oh wow, yeah, he's got a good point, you know, love really is blind. Like, I don't care how stupid you are, you would know that something was off about that situation. Like, you can't play dumb, man. Own up to your own mistakes that, I mean, you've been running from them for what, over 30 years now. It's time to sit down and fess up and just tell the world that you did wrong. I could see maybe it happening one at a time, okay? Right. All right, but you're saying 10. I've never heard that number. Right. That's nine more babies right. that you sat there and continued to let her Right, right. I mean, so they just cleared it up here, and wow, uh, I was wrong. It was a total of 10 kids. 10 kids this dude had with his wife at the time. And I mean, he didn't think anything of it when she put all 10 of them up for adoption as soon as they popped out. Dude, you have to think the entire world is comprised of people as dumb as you. If you actually think anyone out here in the crowd or anyone watching this right now on the internet or on TV believes you, all right? Like this guy knew a thousand percent what was going on. And I bet he even encouraged her into doing this since, I mean, you think about it here, he really has no negative side effects from this. It's not like he has to be the one to carry each of these babies for nine months and then give birth to it. This dude is just a total piece of garbage. I'm gonna say it again, man. I just can't believe it. And you felt you felt very betrayed when she did this to you. Yes, very she, betrayed. She'll tell you, you just went down there and signed a paper, you didn't know what it was, and then yeah. you find out that she's right. actually placed your daughter for adoption. Right. So the big piece of information that this dude keeps telling everyone is that he was brought these pieces of paper that he was told to sign and he didn't really know what they were, but he still signed them and all of a sudden his child got taken away. 
boo-hoo. Oh, you're such, you're such a poor downtrodden man. Like, oh, you're the bad one in this situation. Nah, man, you are the one that signed these paperwork. You're telling me that an official adoption paperwork isn't easy to recognize within the first couple paragraphs? Look, man, I know legal jargon can be confusing and it's mostly done on purpose, but you should be able to realize what the paperwork is about with some light skim reading. I mean, especially if you supposedly have someone trying to force you into signing your name on it. Wouldn't it say something about like the adoption agency in the top corner of the paper? I know he's dumb, but like you can't be that dumb, all right? The only way you could actually sign something and not know what it was about is if you were illiterate. And at that point, how would you even know how to sign your name? His story just has so many holes and it's so completely obvious that these cover-ups were made up in his little pea-sized brain because only someone as dumb as him could ever think to just say, Yeah, I was forced to sign paperwork and then my daughter got taken away. It happened like seven more times after that. I, I, I thought I would have learned after the first time. But then she disappears for four or five months. Right, in the fourth month she disappears for a little while and then she comes back. And when she comes back, she's spending quite a bit of money. More money than what I can make. So how is that not the biggest red flag of all time, my guy? Would you guys just take a look at this timeline again? Like, it is so sad to see. We don't even know who seven out of these 10 kids are, and we probably won't ever be able to find them. I mean, all we know is that this scumbag and his ex-wife, who still might be locked up or something, I haven't really looked into it. Side note, I'm really not sure how he didn't get locked up for this as well, but I guess that's besides the point. But all we know is that they both had these kids purely to sell them to people in order to adopt them. And there's another clip where this dude is going on about the actual story, and oh my god, Pretty much every time this woman gets pregnant, she leaves right after having the kid for like four to five months and comes back to town with uh, without the kid and with tons of money on her. So quite possibly this guy is just the worst liar ever and or the biggest moron of all time to ever appear on the show. And it's kind of appalling that he is able to walk free after this. You know, if she got arrested, I don't really understand why he wouldn't as well. I guess it's a good thing that the kids at least got adopted though. I mean, I really do hope that they were able to have a substantially better life than they would have had with these two trash human beings for parents. But there isn't really a way to know sadly, so we'll just have to have high hopes. Hey, you guys made it pretty far into this video. So real quick, I'm gonna challenge you to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you can do that all in the next five seconds I'm gonna reward you with the ability to be invisible uh, except you're only invisible when people aren't looking at you all right so I don't really know how you can use that to your ability but hey you're a terrible superhero now congrats anyways on with the rest of the video and you were glad when they came and put the handcuffs on her yes I was very weren't glad you just glad they didn't put them on you isn't that what you well, were glad of? they had no reason to put them on me <laughs> yeah, speak what's on everyone's mind, Dr. Phil. This little weasel somehow got out scot-free after all of this, and I think that's what makes me sick to my stomach, honestly, dude. You just got to enjoy the plus side of all this money from this scam, and you never got arrested when she did. It's crazy how our legal system works sometimes, bro. Like, I'm telling you, that's messed up. Serious. I like, understand these people are I laughing. I understand too. But they're not laughing because no, it's funny. They're laughing because, because it's outrageous that stupid. you're trying to take a position yeah. that so you didn't I, know what, anything. What yeah, dude, this entire crowd has just been laughing and clapping whenever someone shuts this moron down because we all know how big of a liar he is. Nobody in their right mind would believe this old idiot for a second with how bad he is at telling lies. He was 100% in on it, like he knew what was going on, and he should be punished just like his wife was when they found out that they were essentially having these babies in order to make money off of them. You cannot place a child for adoption without both biological parents agreeing to do so that's the easiest way of looking at this for any of you that actually think this dude could have been out of the loop please you know be smarter okay do you know how much of a process it is to actually put your kid up for adoption like they have tons of paperwork and stuff to make sure that both parents are down for it because of things like this i mean some crazy lady could just go take her kids somewhere and put them up for adoption which is apparently what this lady did according to this guy here and simply that just doesn't happen like maybe back in the old wild west frontier days you could get away with something like that but not in the 80s even man like we got this stuff figured out by now there's a system for all of this and even if you were too dumb to read the contract, you could have easily picked up on what's going on there. I don't think you're that dumb.
I think this dude has just mastered the art of playing the role of that guy that has all this bad stuff happen to him and it was all out of his control. You know, first he's saying he had no idea what was going on and now he's saying, oh, even if he did, there was nothing he could really do, you know, it was just entirely out of his control and he had no say in any of it. Imagine having your child being taken away from you and you just sit there with your arms up and surrender like, well, there's nothing I could do, I guess, I wasn't meant to be their father. Like you're not even attempting to talk to the police or anything or have them get your side of the story so that you could file a report or something. Not one action was done by this man to even attempt to get a hold of this woman while she was away. So at this point, it's just his dumb redneck pride that is holding him back from giving his adopted kids some much needed closure. Either way, I just know this dude is a terrible human being and an even worse liar. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. As I said, this was a crazy story, so I'd love to hear what you thought. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video, and until then, peace out.